Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Sketch Card School. Rather than showing you some sealed wax, I thought I would show you a few cards from my personal collection and tell you the story behind them. Starting with Heath Ledger's Joker. This came from a release called Cryptozoics Superheroes and Villains CZX. And what makes this card a little more interesting is that it is an artist proof recognized by the holographic sticker in the top right hand corner. Artist proofs are cards sold directly from the artist as compensation from the company Cryptozoic. And so this card was never actually found in packs. Also an artist proof is this Walking Dead sketch of Abraham by Jim Kyle. What makes a Topps artist proof interesting is that there's actually no signifying stamp or sticker anywhere on it to say it's an artist proof, but this was purchased directly from Jim Kyle on eBay. Now this sketch by an artist named Chris Mad is a little bit different. It's from a set called Oz the Early Years. It was similar to a Kickstarter promotion. It was actually sold as a set on Indiegogo. And the sketch cards you can see symbolized by this number nine are actually a card in the actual set. They are not inserts or bonus cards. They are actually number nine in the set. And so that artist is Chris Mad Oz the Early Years. Now, this is a Rick and Morty sketch, and yes, that uh, frame is custom painted. That is not a gold frame printed on the card. That is a painted frame. And this artist is named Achilles Kakinakis. Now, this card, uh, while it is not a uh, artist proof, was a giveaway, one on social media directly from Cryptozoic. So that was not pulled from a box. That was actually given away on social media. Rick and Morty. And lastly, this card. What I love about this set is it's an artist's choice. The artist has the option to draw anything they want. And what makes it doubly interesting is at the bottom, there is a sticker that individually and sequentially numbers every sketch card in this Viceroy set. Artist choice, draw what you want. And Matt Stewart went with an Egyptian theme called the Narmer Plate. Well, there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed seeing a few cards from my personal collection. If you like more of that, please let me know. I'm on Twitter at SketchCards, and I am happy to share whatever you guys want to see. Thank you very much.